Well, 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 let us see what is the next best thing that Blender has to offer us. With that being said, Anil, let me go to UV editing and here we can see a workspace which has been dedicatedly given for UV editing. This is V axis, this is U axis, that's why we call this UV editor and the map which is being shown here is called UV map. With that being said, Anil, let me go from edit mode to object mode and select this object and delete it and we will take a very complex object so that i could show you in depth what are the possibilities that are given by blender developers over here so shift a to add the object go to mesh and click on monkey here we got the monkey let me zoom in on it by using the scroll wheel now we can see the map over here of the monkey only if we are in edit mode i am going from object mode to edit mode and because all of these are selected these are visible if they are not selected they will not be visible only those part will be visible which are selected let me select this thing and tap l to select the linked vertices so the eye is selected and it is shown over here if I select this eye, tap L on the keyboard to select the linked vertices, it is going to show me that eye over here. And if I tap A on the keyboard to select all, it will select the entire monkey and it will show its entire map over here. But what if I don't want to get this entire thing selected and see it over here? That's when you get this button over here. If you click on this button it is going to show you the map even if it is not selected so that's a wonderful option that blender developers have given us uh, before clicking on UV sync let me tap on uh, come over here and tap a so that I could get this map and there is a small option over here which is only available when the UV sync is not picked if it is on it will not be visible if it is off it will be visible what this is it shows the shared vertices if I come over here and click on disable nothing will be shown over here but if I come over here and select the shared vertices vertex it is going to show which vertex are shared for example if I click and drag over here these two vertices are connected to these two vertices in this 3d viewport if I click over here this vertex is connected to this vertex and this vertex in the 3d viewport that's what this is trying to say so let me disable it off and click on UV sync and click over here so that we could deselect the entire monkey over here so we will go through the entire view menu before going through the entire view menu let me go through these three buttons over here the first button is the area which you are selected it is going to show that let me UV sync off and disable this thing then the next button is adding to the selection if we click and drag it will add to the selection and the next thing is delete from the selection which can be done by using shift and control keys if you hold and if you tap and hold shift button you are going to add to the selection and if you tap control and hold the control button and click and drag it is going to remove from the selection whatever you have selected so let me get back to this mode and go to view the first option is toolbar which can be toggled by T on the keyboard the next is sidebar which can be toggled on and off by using the N key which is a very powerful very powerful menu which we'll be seeing in the coming videos so make sure that you subscribe this channel and if you are liking this video hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit the share button and leave a wonderful comment and what you can do is you can support this channel by going to any blender veda video over youtube 
and in the description you will find a link called which will be taking you to a patreon page on the patreon page you can go and support this channel by providing one month uh, one dollar or three dollar or nine dollar or twenty dollar per month if you feel that i'm that valuable for you and uh, or else what you can do is at least see the ads completely which are falling on these videos uh, without skipping them so the revenue which is generated from there can be uh, utilized for researching in the blender so with that being said and done, let me go back to blender and uh, go to view menu tool setting this is the small tool setting which we had over here so that is been on and off adjust last operation if i click and drag over here and tap g and click and drag over here to move the island it is called island somewhere and if i adjust the last operation and click and click over here it is going to give me a uh, option which is latestly done which is that i have moved it so it is going to show me the move option so let me control z over here the next option is update automatically to view this option let me scroll wheel over this area open an image let me use an image which is obvious this is so that we could see what is actually happening over here so i have used this image but this image is not visible over here to make it visible over there we need to give a material to the monkey so that will be done in the shading workspace in the shading workspace i am selecting the monkey and i am clicking on the new button so we got a bsdf shader and you can change the color of the monkey from here we don't want to change the color we want to add the texture my face on that monkey's face so for that we will go to add search search for image texture and click and drag over here and then join this color to this base color option this color output to this base color input and now because it is not having any image that's why it is showing as a black material but i have already introduced an image inside blender so there is an image of mine inside blender to access that let me click over here and click on capture so it is going to show my image on the monkey's face <laughs> what a day it is but here in the uv editing it is not visible so to make it visible i am scrolling my mouse wheel over here so that i could get access to this button and click on material preview shading mode so that's it guys we can see the image on the monkey if you want to change uh, let me uh, make it a little bit obvious i am selecting this area and tapping l to select all the linked vertices and you can tap g to move it tap r to rotate it and tap yes to scale it so what i am going to do i am going to move it over here and scale it a little bit big so that my entire face is visible in his eyes let me rotate it somewhat like this and move it over here so that this will be obviously you can see that the eye is whatever the eye is seeing over here it will be projected over here why i have done all this thing i have done this to show you what update automatically does if i tick this off and move this map this thing is not updating automatically so if i go to view and check this on and now if i move it you know what i am trying to explain 
it is moving over here automatically so that option is provided by update automatically the next is show metadata I haven't been able to find where the metadata is available regarding the image when I am keeping the mouse over here it is showing that it is going to display the metadata properties of the image I haven't found it if someone is able to find it let me know in the comments below and let me go to the next option zoom in zoom out which can be done by wheel in and wheel out uh, scroll wheel use the scroll wheel to zoom in and zoom out and use the middle click to pan around so this is useful for panning and the next option is fractional zoom do you want it to have one fourth zoom or half the zoom or its original size one to one zoom or double its size so that's what you can do that from there frame selected now my entire eye is selected this entire eye is selected so if I for example scale it down and bring it somewhere over here I want to what this option does is it frames the entire selection whichever selection is there it will frame the entire selection in the entire UV editor frame all it is going to frame entire UV map over the UV editor the next is frame all fit it is going to fit the image inside the UV editor be it width wise or be it height wise if I drag it over here and uh, then go to fit all it is going to fit according to the height or according to the width whichever is the uh, smallest so let me bring it over here then we will go to the next option center view to cursor just as blender has 3d cursor over here which is a red and white dotted circle in the blender in the UV editor where V is the this axis and U is this axis you get a 2d cursor this is 2d space so there is a 2d red and white dotted circle so this is called as 2d cursor so if I go to view and center view to cursor it is going to center the cursor over here why is it useful we will be seeing in the coming videos when, when we will be talking about these options so make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell icon as well and the next option is area horizontal split vertical split if you want to split the window horizontally or if you want to split the windows vertically let me show you one thing and then you can do the next thing easily let me show you what is horizontal split uh, you can split the windows into by horizontally splitting them and if you don't want it then you can right click over this line and join the areas whichever area you click over here it is going to expand it into that area and it is going to make it as one let me zoom out over here and uh, scroll wheel over here and view the next option is toggle maximize area which can be done by control spacebar which is one of the most wonderful options that I like in blender control spacebar wherever your mouse is it is going to expand that area by using control spacebar and control alt spacebar is even more wonderful that I like about blender is control alt spacebar if you click it it will maximize the entire window over the entire blender space so you will have the maximum area to work over here control alt spacebar and then you can also do it in the UV editor or in any other editor even in outliner if you keep uh, your mouse cursor and then control alt spacebar it is going to expand the outliner to the entire window so that was uh, the control spacebar duplicate area into new window if you click over this it is going to duplicate a new window why this is useful why blender developers have provided this is uh, if you go to Google for those who don't know there is a dual monitor setup 
what it actually does is uh, there are two monitors which are kept side by side on one side the software runs and on the other side the entire preview will be running so that we could see it very clearly so that's why they have provided this option this new window can be sent to the next monitor where it will be shown completely with its full glory let me close it uh, one thing what you can do is also you can do that you can do this thing by holding and tapping shift to button tapping and holding shift to button and then just click over here and drag over here let your mouse go to the corner when it converts into the plus icon hold down shift button and click and drag and it is going to show you the floating window which will be useful when you have dual monitor setup and uh, the next option finally is close area if you close this it will be closing the entire blender so that's it for this guys if you are liking this video hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit the share button and leave a wonderful comment if you can support me through google pay phone pay paytm the phone number is 8600647757 and you can also support me through patreon page you can access that by going to any blender with a video and in the description you will find a link of patreon page you can go to the patreon page and support me monthly by providing $1 per month or $3 or $9 or even if you feel that i am well worthy you can provide $20 per month and one thing what you can do is you can watch the entire ad which are falling on this video without skipping them so that the revenue which is generated will be completely given for blender research so with that being said guys try to see it learn it understand it i will see you in the next video